Hi, uh, I'm Momita. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the Department of Culture Studies and Oriental Languages at the University of Oslo. And today I'm talking to you about these two goddess images that we have from Calcutta. Often what we do is that we look through these images into who they are. And what I want us to do is to look at them, to look at the craft and the world, the industry, this bustling group of people who make their living by making these images, by buying these images, by organizing the festivals around these images. And these are huge festivals, right? Millions and millions of people. Now, what we are looking at in the case of these two goddesses is a 200 year old craft that comes from the region of Bengal. As I said, there are several livelihoods connected to it. Because of the boom in the festival culture industry in Bengal right now, there are different groups of people who make these images. There are designers and artists from the worlds of high art who have trained in art schools and are now doing this. There are, there are awards, there is distinction, there's money in the business. Uh, but there are also people who come from particular castes that is commun a community of people who train at home, learn from their fathers and uncles to make this. And this is their primary um, source of livelihood. And then there are those who straddle these two areas of the worlds of high art and this kind of um, commercial production that's uh, based in this uh, caste segregated neighborhoods. Let me talk to you a bit about the man who made this Kali image. His name is Bhaskar Chitrakar. He lives in uh, this working class neighborhood in Calcutta called Kaligat, which has been producing devotional images and pictures since the 19th century. They used to paint pictures of gods, goddesses, but also these satires of contemporary life that pilgrims going to Calcutta would buy. Now, in the age of calendars and you know different uh, popular prints, this industry no longer runs. So people don't invest that much time to actually paint. Um, Bhaskar Chitrakar is actually the last Kaligat painter. Bhaskar Chitrakar learned how to paint from uh, his father, how to make this kind of Kali image also from his father and his uncles. But he also learned how to make realistic sculpture, uh, sort of like British neoclassical sculpture, by looking at other students learning sculpture in the art school. So he, his story is a tremendous one. And he would like to focus more on the painting, but this is what he does to make a living, make this uh, kind of images of goddesses.